Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my tiling trade tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install large format tiles and outdoor slabs onto hardcore using a rock tight mortar. So these are the outdoor slabs that I'm going to be using. They're from the hard blue grey range from Tile Mountain. They're 600 millimetres square and 20 millimetres deep. And they come in two different styles. One's a pattern one, like this, which I'm going to be using the pattern ones right the way through the centre of my area here. And then the outside edge, I'm going to be having these planar ones. They're going to act as a border right the way around all four sides. So the next stage is to set the area out. The general rule of thumb when you're tiling a floor will be to find your very centre point for a measure on either side of the wall, put a string line down and then you can work out how many tiles work off the string line either side and that will give you a balanced cut one side on the other that will look symmetric and nice on the eye. So now I have to mix the primer to apply to the back of the tile. On the bucket it has a markings on here of how much water to how much cement ratio. Here's the packets there, five kilos each. Cut them open and place this into the water. I'm going to start by stirring this with my gauge and trowel just for a couple of moments and then I'll get my electric paddle mixer to mix it to a nice liquid consistency. So now the primer is mixed, ready to apply to the back of the tiles. I'm going to mix the rock tight mortar. I've got 3.75 litres of cold clean water in there. That's all you need for a 25 kilo bag. So I'm going to mix that up with my mixer. The rock tight mortar can also be mixed by hand if you don't have a mechanical mixer. Now this is the kind of consistency I'm looking for on the rock tight mortar once it's mixed because we are going to have a thicker bed and it's quite easy and feels a bit lightweight than the traditional sand and cement mortar to work with and we just want to spread it all out here and I can still use my tile leveling system in there place the tile down on top which has already had the primer on the back of it. So these are the wedging clips and the way they work is they go underneath the existing tile it's on and then the wedge gets placed in and it lifts them up. Of course, always checking that I've got my fall into my drains there, which is very important. A little bit harder to do. Have it sloping down and then level across this side. Then I use my point and trowel to compact the mortar from the under edge of the slab. Now our hardcore sub base is about 150 millimeters in depth, and this is heavily compacted down with a whacker plate. If you're laying porcelain slabs like these, we'd recommend about 50 millimeters depth of rock type mortar. However, if your base was more solid like a concrete slab, you can range your mortar bed from 10 millimeters right the way up to 80. The hard blue range is constructed from durable 20 millimeter porcelain, which will look great for years, guaranteed to stand up to the elements with an anti-slip rating of R11. So now this area has had 24 hours to completely dry. I can walk on the tiles no problem and I can start to remove all of my wedges and actually snap off the actual clips. As for my cuts on the both sides, I prefer to cut a stockpile first and line them all up exactly where they're going to be installed. So I start off by taking my measurements from the actual wall edge or the drain edge to the existing tile that's already fixed and dried into position. Then deduct that by 10 millimetres. Mark that on your tile and then you can start cutting them. There's a number of different ways of cutting them. I'm using a wet electric tile cutter with a diamond tip blade 
that applies water to the blade whilst it's being cut to keep it cool. Alternatively, you can use a circular saw or a nine inch grinder. Once you've cut a stockpile, you're ready to start installing them. I installed the main slabs down using the rocket tight mortar. So again, once I've done my cuts, I'll stockpile them, then mix up my rock tight mortar, lay this down. Then of course you'd install this just the way you did with the main slabs. So that's my last cut slab now getting fixed into position to complete one side of the patio. Then I did the same on the top and the opposite side of the patio until I completely installed all the pre-cut tiles. So that's my last cut tile now set into place. I'm going to leave this to dry. I'm going to clean up all of the excess adhesive that may be still left on the cuts that I fitted this morning. Once that's dried off, I'm going to apply a pre-grout treatment. Now this is really easy to do. It can be applied by using a paintbrush, a roller, or a light pressured sprayer. I'm going to put a coat on all over the tiles, leave this for about 30 minutes to penetrate in, then apply a second coat, and an hour later, I'm ready to start grouting. Because these slabs were laid onto the rock tight mortar directly onto the hardcore, I'm going to be using a rock tight brush in grout. Now this is quick and easy to apply. All we need to do is wet our surface, scoop out some of the grout, drop it into the gaps, and then use quite a rigid brush to brush it in, and then simply wipe it off. So that's how you install your slabs onto a hardcore base using a rock tight mortar. But if you're looking for more inspiration, follow us on all social media handles. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to know more information about the products I've been using, just check out the website, tilemountain.co.uk.